so now let's create the 404 page so here in our pages let's create a new file with the name of 404.js and create rfce so in this case instead of having the name so here let's change the name of this component instead of 404 i'll say that not font page so uh, copy this and paste it here so this 404 page will appear or this component will appear whenever you will go to a route which doesn't exist so if i go to this kind of uh, route uh, which uh, which doesn't exist as you can see that this is the gatsby development 404 page which is uh, good for the development but we have a custom 404 page that we want to show so this development 404 page is actually uh, showing because right now we are in the development server but whenever you will actually push this into a, a production server you will not see this development 404 page what you will see is you will see your custom 404 page that you defined here so if you want to see your custom 404 page you can go to your custom 404 page by clicking this as you can see that this page so here you can see that uh, down here you can see all the pages available in this project is here so we can see right now we have three pages uh, we have 404 we have 404.html and the last one which is the index page that we have so this is the index page and the 404 page this one and also 404.html will be the same so if you go to the 404 page so this is the page will be uh, we will see whenever we will hit a route which is not defined so let's actually style this or make this page beautiful so here in our page first of all we need to add some space in the top and bottom because the 404 text is in the Top, which is not good it should be under the name menu so for that we need some space and so this is the issue which we will face in uh, in multiple time in future so that's why let's get a new component so that we can fix it in one time and reuse it so inside the components let's say that page space dot js so in our page space dot js rfce to create a function component and inside that uh, we will get first of all let's add the style page space styles and let's get the style and this is the style so now here what we need to do we need to say that instead of having this text we will render the children so let's say the children so we need to destructure the children from the prop and also beside that we need to get the top and the bottom space which we need to pass here so top will be top and the bottom will be the bottom so this will be uh, this will be props for our uh, still components which I already used in our uh, still components uh, styles or you do not need to worry it will work so let's see how it will work so in our 404 page instead of having the div let's say that this whole stuff will be inside of our page space so page space and we need to import that and here space now we need to uh, define some top and bottom uh, padding so if you do not define any kind of padding top and bottom what it will do is it will use 100 pixel as you can see but you can define that so let's say that uh, for now i think 100 pixel is okay for the top and bottom now inside that we will have a div with a class of container so after that we need to get the styles so not found page styles so we need to get the styles from the so let's get the style here and now inside this so inside this we need to uh, we need to show our message so let's add a section title section title and here let's say that a 404 page don't we have the section title let me import it manually and see so import section title so section title so this will be named import 
from we need to go to the components and uh, we have the typography and the title so if I do yeah we have the section title and I can see my section title here awesome so after that let's do some paragraph text here so here import paragraph text uh, it is not importing which is fine so inside this paragraph let's add some text and I think that's fine and also let's import the paragraph text so import paragraph text components uh, typography and paragraph text I think that's it so once we do uh, okay something like that okay so now my paragraph text is here I can see my uh, text is looking good and finally we need to add a button for going back to home page so for that let's add a link here so let's say that after all of these link and uh, this link will be from the Gatsby and we need to just say that two will be the home page and for the text we'll say that uh, home page and for our style we need to add a class name here which will be the link and we need to get this link from the Gatsby so let's do it so import link from Gatsby so that's it now it should be fine as you can see that uh, now we have our nice 404 page and if I click home page now we are in the home page and let's try it if I come here if I come to 404 page I can see it and finally here one thing I want to do here is if I go to our constants for our menu so inside the source we have the constants and this is the menu and here you can see that this is the blocks categories and others so for the block uh, let's make it blocks the title and for the authors also let's make it authors so instead of blog now it is blogs and instead of author now it is authors so a quick fix so now it is actually fixed in both nav and also footer so that's awesome so here one more thing in our components uh, instead of having the blocks this folder let's rename this folder and make it blog so now uh, from the blocks it is now blog because uh, as you can see that uh, we also have the category so so that's why I think we should make everything a uh, singular here blog category and the author so for our folder structure so that's why uh, and I thought that I just missed this one so so that's why we are facing some error here so here you can see that uh, we cannot actually uh, resolve this path so because uh, we changed the folder name so now this is the block instead of blocks so now it should be fine